why don't we take a few seconds to just listen to the music. Isn't that lovely? Alright, let's play. Very nice main menu music there, I must say. And Madhead Games, I mean, they're known for their fantastic background music. Alright, so we're back. That's right, we're playing Rite of Passage number three, Hide and Seek. Inventory-wise, we have our lovely cub, Veronica. Metal, Sc metal Spike. I don't know why I was going to say Metal Skype. Metal spike, branch, and a bird's nest. So I'm not sure if these are supposed to go together or what's going on here. I don't know. They seem to be all flashy, but I don't quite understand what. Uh, what happened there? Oh, I see. We can get this out of here, I guess. Now we have ourselves a long string. What does that mean for us? Oh! This would make a good lightning rod. Alright, so we can put a metal spike on there. And then tie that up. Lightning rod probably could go over here. and We'll put that in the ground. Improvised lightning rod. Alright, so we're free to go to the treehouse. Ooh, neato. Oh, oh. I saw a palm right there. So what do we have? What is that? That is number 27. What else can we do here? Uh, we can go inside, perhaps? Oh, I found a key. <laughs> the old key under the housewarming mat. Sure. Or doormat, I guess. That we call it. Usually those mats say, welcome. Candle, we need to light you up. And you up. Nicely done. So there's no palm here. But we have that. One out of five, apparently. So is where that's supposed to go? Nope. It looks like a mold for a circular ornament. Okay, so we're going to be making our fifth one, I would assume. Now we need that, and we need that. Three out of four ain't bad. Some ornaments are missing there. I'm sure that's where we have to put the five ornaments that we found. Oh, there's one right there. And then we have one more. So how am I supposed to do this then? Oh, I see. There we go. There's our fifth ornament. We just use good old candle wax to do the trick. Wax flower ornament. Interesting. I thought that was going to be the last one. Apparently it's not. I need six. Okay. Some are missing, apparently. I didn't... Oh, looks like we still have to go here. Hmm. I don't think I see what we have to do here. Oh, we have to go inside, apparently. It's got to be in here somewhere. Hmm. Aha! Got you. Oh, a dragon paw. We need that. I think a piece is missing. Hmm. So we need to go back to that area over here where the uh, we crashed. There we go. And then we can put our paw right there. Did I say dragon claw? I mean, I meant bear claw. Oh, it looks like we need another one. And they seem to be getting bigger in size too. Huh. Interesting. All right, let's put the house here. It's a tree house. And a ladder. Oh! Haha! -ha. Cool. That actually opened up a real ladder here. Looks like we have something going on here. <laughs> I 
And we're climbing. Wait a minute. How does this work? There's some somewhere on here there's actually I might have missed it, because I Oh maybe we get to go back to it, I don't know. I don't see it yet. Looks like there's one right there, but I don't... Oh, there we go. Okay, this is the third one. Number three. All oh, that for a hidden object scene. Aww. Once a year, we played a game of hide and seek. You could only win if you found at least three of your friends. This thing's morphing like crazy. Three of my friends. Uh, what do you mean by three of your friends game? Once a year, we played a game of hide-and-seek. You could only win if you could find at least three of your friends. Oh. I see. Each person you found gave you a pearl as a symbol of true friendship. We kept the pearls in a special friendship bag. If you had a lot of pearls at the end of the game, it meant you had a lot of friends. We cherished them and kept them. But Angela didn't have any friends. A small bunny was the only companion she ever had. Bunny! She wandered through the forest alone. Near the old windmill, she met spirits who took pity on her. But there was a catch. To get her powers, Angela had to agree never to play with children or lay a hand on them again. As time passed, she became sad and longed for company. When she thought of it, her eyes would fill with tears. Okay, so what would a tear look like? Like that. Having pearls meant having friends. So Angela got an idea for her own game of hide and seek. She soon went looking for children at their houses. Creepy. She needed a child to seek in her place. Then she could use her powers to capture whoever they found inside a pearl, keeping them with her forever. I like that. It's infinity is forever. Green medallion. Aha! Got myself a green medallion. So if I miss the... Yeah, see that's kind of weird. I think I missed it up there. Let me just have a look here. No, it wants me to go back there. Uh, I know this is kind of strange, but I'm just going to go back to the main scene, and I'll show you guys how you can go back when you've missed something. Go into extras, and leave. It's in galley. And then hide and seek. And then... No, wait, that's not it. Now that I think about it. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot to tell you guys this. So they have this kind of neat thing here where you just put these little puzzles together. And we can learn more about each character. It's kind of cool. It's just like a little detail here, right? Jack Sanders. His young son Tom mysteriously disappeared during the game of hide-and-seek with his sister. While his daughter grew up thinking he had died, he stayed in Greystone, secretly keeping in touch with his wife and dedicating his life to investigating this strange phenomenon. So yeah, anyways, there's a couple of them here. Uh, we haven't unlocked this one yet. Uh, these are backgrounds. You'll recognize that from my thumbnail. But we've unlocked a bunch of these. But we still have a few more to go. I kind of like the robot one, but when I made my thumbnail, thumbnail I didn't have that one unlocked, so it's kind of sad. These are also neat. These are like little imaging things that they tell you how kind of like the alpha beta of each scene turned out after all. It's kind of neat. 
I mean, we've seen these before, but I think having this little extra detail here is kind of adds a little bit extra, uh, I think, to then just showing here's what we had in mind. But anyways, so this is all good stuff, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to collectibles. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Tree of Pearls. And then, there we go. So that's that there. So that's basically how we're able to go back in time. Now eventually I'm going to have to place all these. But I'm going to do that all at one go. I'll do that at the very end. Uh, but yeah, that's how you go back and figure out if you've missed stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, I really... For me, like, I don't want to have to stress over collectibles, and if I know that I can go back at any time and get them, so much better. So let's uh, go over here and put our green paw here. And... Cave of the Mind. That's interesting, get into the cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do with this. Strange language again. Three, two, four. Say what? Okay. Blue and get this one red. There we go. Looks like we have got some frozen ice here, so we can get to do that power. I wonder if we're going to get to do all four of our powers. Nice, nice. Then we have something up there. We can't quite reach it, so we can use our summoner. Yeah, go over there, grab that. And then our last power, which is Seeker. stuck in that rock. I'm not sure. I can't remember what Seeker does. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Something going on over here. Uh. Maybe that's where that goes? Yep. Uh, did we break it or did we fix it? What the heck are we doing here? Individual one finds are too weak. Oh, neat! <laughs> Climbing the vines. Hey, we're at Sunny Valley. Finally, we finally made it. Ooh, I always love to see pickaxe. Pieces lean around. I can't pull up the bucket without a working winch. So there's a hand here somewhere. There we are. Ah, oh, it just occurred to me. Did I have a hand back here I missed? Yes, I did. Let's go see what we can do here. I'll take that cog. Any day. Oh, we need a peculiar, peculiar inset. And a hidden object scene. Haha. -ha. So, what do we have here? Find the matching pairs. Okay, I thought those were both fans, but clearly I was wrong. Now, ball goes the ball. What else do we have here that matches? How about uh, mouse to mouse? Sure. And we need two more to go. Harmonica to the... Oh, I thought I saw another harmonica. What else do we have here that matches? I don't know if garden tools? No. Oh, and hammer to hammer. Oh, there is a second harmonica. I knew it. And a sickle. 
myself a big sickle. I also have a garden gnome. Sweet. Well lever. I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. So do we keep oh, I guess we're keeping this. It's a sturdy good handle. Not jammed in all the way. <laughs> we're gonna use the stone gnome for that? That was funny. I'm not sure if there's something we can chisel back here. Yeah, we have this up here we can work our magic on. What do we have here? It looks like a table leg. Ah, there's the music in the background. It's a handle! I think we have a bunch of stuff we're gonna have to put here, aren't we? Yeah. That there. There we go. We need you. So we can get in the door here. Hello? Angela's house. Oh, there's our paw. 31 out of 43. Oh, neat. Time passed, and as they sat under the tree where all of the pearls hung, the boy began to feel uneasy. Okay. We gotta move stuff around, don't we? Uh, oh, there's a patch there. So we gotta put that on her leg, her fancy leggings. And then we've got... Not sure which one's supposed to not be here. So where does that go? Uh, I don't know. We got two more R's, so we gotta... Okay, where does this go? Now one more. Oh. Hole in the bark. He wondered how long the people would stay inside the pearls, and when they would turn back to normal. Surprised, the girl told him they would never be returned. The pearls were their friends now. Okay. Come on, I know that's your belt. Ah, take that off of you and put that on you. Oh, we got a lantern that goes over here. What else do we have here? Ah. Uh, oh. So that's not her dress? Fine. The boy was horrified. He ran away, swearing he would never play with her again. Hurt and angry, the girl left Hope's Edge, leaving the boy all alone in town. Okay. Mm, it's a cloud, I think. No, nope, belongs there. Thinking that bird goes over there. But soon, the girl found another town and another child to be her seeker. Must be me, isn't it? I don't know. It's too dark to see anything. He's Veronica's infrared vision. Yay. Veronica is so good. The story is finally complete. Now I know it's about Angela and Eric. They triggered the whole situation with the fog. But Eric didn't want to play anymore, so Angela left to find another seeker. Me. So, yeah, there you go. Cool. Now we gotta find this Angela lady. Well, I'm thinking she's a lady now. Oh, well, Simon says.
Oh, good boy. Last one. Oh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Another piece of the paper. Two out of three ain't bad. We have here, we have our Veronica. She is very good at seeing in the dark. A drawer handle, two out of three paper pieces, and this cool green dragon. I wonder if we're gonna actually get to play with that dragon. I don't know. Uh, are we looking for matches? Yes, we are. And the final piece of the newspaper puzzle. But I don't even know where to put this thing. Uh, da -da -da -da. Interesting. What does our map say for us to do? It doesn't really say much of anything. So yeah, you can see there that I've played for two hours, 46 minutes. Yeah, I don't know. This game is probably going to be... The main game is probably going to hit over three hours, which is pretty good. I'd say that's better than uh, average, or maybe average, if you will. Uh, there still is, of course, the bonus chapter that we need to take care of. Uh, okay, I... This is strange. Look at my hand. There's nothing for me to do at the moment, but I can't leave until I figure out what's going on. What does that even mean, game? So I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to put these things. <laughs> Seriously? Is this like for real or is this a joke? Because I, I don't see any gears. In here. That's awful dirty. Uh, oh, wait a minute, what does my objective say? Find and comfort Angela. Confront Angela, not comfort Angela. So I guess we're here on the last bit here, I think. Yeah. So how am I supposed to do this? Yeah, we did all that. Uh, we didn't do that. Uh, we need to... No, I don't understand that. Okay, so we we did this. Open the robot, take three out of three photo pieces, restore the old photo. Uh, how do I restore the old photo? Uh-oh. <laughs> Something's wrong. I don't know what I've done. I can't click on this guy. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, hmm. 